And uh, number zero, Phoenix, is actually uh, from Glasgow Men's Roller Derby, which is an aspiring MRDA team, currently looking to join the MRDA this year. So okay. She's actually originating right. from Glasgow Men's Roller Derby. So I believe we are live, folks. So we, ha we have been given the all live call. Good morning. Welcome back if you are already seen a few games. If not, welcome for the first time to the 2018 World Rugby World Cup. I am Archie and I am joined by... Chief Intent from uh, Australia. And we are here for Team Scotland versus Team Arte Roa. So will we go through the rosters very quickly? That's right. I'll go through Team Arte Roa. We've got zero, Ivy Canivy. Eight, Sugar Hit. 101, Tough Pickies. Number 11, Saunders. Number 13, Mick Fierce. 14, Ballistic Button. Number 18, Tutan Carnage. Number 27, Little Yellow Jacket. 321, Maggie Mayhem. 363, three, Evil Knievel. 38, Hui. 4000, Anna Pave You Over. 44, Riley. Number 54, Lady Trample. Number 666, Tara Satana. Number 73, Coup d'Italia. Number 79, Axel Rose. Number 852, Avenger. And 86, Mackenzie. Followed by 88, Mad Honor. Okay, and the Team Scotland full roster. Zero, Phoenix. Number three, Shorty. Seven is Liston. Nine, Riot. 102, Seaton. 11, Crazy Legs. 19, Other Mayhem. 22, McLean. 3, Anita. 350, Devil. 39 Bangers, 407 Joe Mama, 50 Peacock, 64 Semple, 7 Little, 750 Brute, 764 Tids, 77 Patterson, 792 Lansborough, and 99 Not Sorry Laurie. And we are getting drowned out by a very loud crowd already, so uh, this could be a very noisy one. That's right, all four of these tracks are all in the same room. They've done very well to sort of mineralize some of the sound bleeding over. And um, it's really, really firing up. This is only the second game of the day, and people are really into it down here. There was a line that went up around the building just to get in here. Um, so, And this is only the second game. So there's going to be many, many games here today, and it's going to get louder and louder, but hopefully you can hear us, and we'll try and bring to you the most up-to-date information on what you're seeing here on the track. And we were very fortunate that we got to skip that line as announcers. Yeah, exactly. I walked straight past that line and I was looking at everybody and I'm like, oh, that really sucks to be waiting in line for an hour. I left my partner because she hadn't got her ticket. She was just, and then she only got in an hour after I did. So she missed the first game, which uh, I called over there, Austria versus Russia, which was a nail biter if you managed to catch that one over on uh, Track Rainy City. We are over here on, um, what track are we on? We are on track three for this game. And roll line. Track three we're is the rolling. Yeah, we're on track. track roll line. Now, officials are getting into position. So it looks like we shall be getting going in just a moment. So it looks like some skaters will not be skating in this one here from Team Aotearoa. Maggie Mayhem will, will not be in here. Uh, Anna Pave you over. Um, Evil Knievel is skating under number 38. Um, Axel Rose as well will not be skating. And Avenger is skating under 363. And Mad Honor is also not skating today. And just an update then on the Team Scotland roster for this specific game. 1-9 uh, Other Mayhem not involved. 2-2 two -two McLean not involved. Anita, number 3, not involved. 7-5-0 Brute and 7-7 seven -seven Patterson not featuring in this game. Although I'm sure we will see them over the course of the weekend. Yep. So I, I was lucky enough to commentate uh, Australia versus Team Aotearoa at the end of last year as they were practicing to come over here. And they, they did the haka on skates. And it, it was perhaps one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's uh, it stuck on my phone uh, and I can't show you guys, but trust me, it's awesome. Wow, that is a roar for Team Scotland. Well, I think we might be getting ourselves a little bit of a homegrown hucker right now. Well, we'll maybe just let us speak for itself for a moment. A 
dance representing both respect and intimidation. Wow. That is crazy. What a great way to start Team Aotearoa's march into this World Forum in the World Cup. So it looks like we're going to get into action very shortly. Just an update if you are joining us for the first time today. These are half-hour games in this first day. Both teams have one time out and one official review, but the clock will keep counting. Ah, because it is a shorter game, four penalties will be the end of your game. Yeah. So, we do apologise if out there the noise gets a little loud. It is very loud here in the stadium. But it is not about the noise, it's not about the volume. It is, of course, about the roller derby. So, we hope we can try and bring some unadulterated, amazing skating here for you today. We look like we're about to launch on in here as a lady trample lines up on the jam line. Up against 99 for Scotland, which is sorry, not sorry, Laurie. And lead jumper has been earned by Lady Trample. Not sorry, Laurie has now passed the star straight away to the Scotland pivot. That is Little now in control of the star. Star pass, very first jam. Not wasting any time there. Lady Trample already to complete the first scoring pass. So that's going to be four points on the board. Looks like they're going to let this run. Little now picking up points for Scotland. That's going to be three points for Scotland. No pass, no penalty on the inside line there. Lady Trample, four more points up in the air. But Little just not very far behind her. Just matching her point for point, which is certainly what they want to do here. And what a great first jam, 7-Eleven, also a fantastic convenience store filled with food. Lovely convenience store <laughs> and a great first jam score. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be 7 9 2 Lansborough now for Team Scotland. And we've got Ivy Canivy. Incidentally, uh, both Ivy Canivy and Lady Trample skate for my home team, VRDL. Uh, but uh, they're today they're New Zealand nationals and skating for their home country in this World Cup. Ivy Canivy, a fantastic jammer. She's, but she's not the lead jammer here. 192. Oh, Landsborough, sorry, 792. That's, um, I've missed this bit on there on her jumper. 792, Landsborough. She's the lead jammer. Been nudged out there by Team New Zealand. And I believe a cut track is being signalled, so we're going to have our first power jam of the game in favour of Team Scotland. That was a cut track picked up by Ivy Can Ivy on that outside lane, trying to take a close whip, I think, off one of the teammates. That's right. We've got a power jam scenario going over there to Lansborough, who is also the lead jammer at this stage, so she can call it off at any juncture. Yeah, Scotland in control of the jam. Lansbury here, she is of Dundee Roller Girls. A great defence here by Artaro and good assist by the pivot in, um, in Sweet and uh, Shorty. Shorty, not just a clever name, she does look actually uh, short. Uh, short, but a diminutive powerhouse. Uh, well, look, I'm a firm believer in the tiny but mighty scenario. And she certainly certainly carved her way through the Artel Roa defence to, um, to help their jammer in, uh, in uh, Landsborough there. So one point had been picked up uh, by Artel in that jam. So all square, 12 each. It is all on inside that jammer there. In pack there, we have number 86, McKenzie for Artel Roa. And it's 5-0 Peacock for Scotland. 
And I believe they have been signalled oh, the cut track. Baycock getting sent off with a cut track. She, they're not happy with that result. That's okay. They're going to make their way out there to the box of waiting. Nice inside to outside sweep there by Arturo. And that gets their jammer out. And that is Mackenzie now. She's in control. So Mackenzie, uh, the referee was holding up the hand for lead jammer. But I think they've just realised that Peacock held that position beforehand before she was sent off. So no one has lead jammer at this stage. Oh, no, she does have. My apologies. My apologies. So Mackenzie has lead jammer. And the, the box is empty. Where Peacock now back on the track. Where, where is that star? With the helmet the cover in the hand. That is the initial pass now completed. Going to put the pressure on Mackenzie. Let's see if they let this run or not. Peacock certainly gets down low when she decides she wants to skate down. Them. Oh, when they decide, my apologies. So, strong jam there for Team Otero, 13 points, takes him up to 25. And it looks like when we get going, it is going to be Tids for Team Scotland. Tids is of Whittle Roller Derby. And we've got number 14, Ballistic Button, for Team New Zealand. 4-3 pack advantage here for Team Arturo. I can see it is Liston, I believe, in the bin for Team Scotland at the moment. She is now standing. Both these two teams doing some great defensive work. Pivot for Team Scotland. That's Shorty, and she is recycling Ballistic Button all the way back. Giving a great opportunity here. For number 764, uh, Tids no. to take the lead. Tids is now on a scoring pass, but is not lead jam up. Because they had removed the helmet cover. Team Aotearoa, 25, versus Team Scotland's 16 at this juncture. I don't know if their points have gone up there. No, they haven't. I always manage to call the scores just before they put them up on the board. I know it's cost like all that. <laughs> Lady oh. Trample up against number 99, Not Sorry Laurie. We saw this matchup just before. That was a very even matchup, but there was a star pass. Not Sorry Laurie looks like she's right out of the gates there. Trample is chasing behind. Not So both jammers now racing around the track here. Lead has been picked up by Not Sorry Laurie. Extremely fast pack. Lady Trample just controlling Not Sorry Laurie in front here, but a jammer on jammer action. Meanwhile, you can see that fast pack sprinting round. You certainly don't see a lot of that these days. Uh, it's usually uh, calling it off. I don't see much jammer on jammer action, but these uh, both these two jammers seem fairly well matched in. Um, in the muscle department. Lady Trample being recycled there and taking her all the way back. So when she does get knocked out, she has to skate back behind the last person who knocked her out. Not sorry, Laurie now reaching the back of that pack. Had been taken off. I believe another player was called, told the players had to rush forward. Lady Trample just going dancing her way through there but it looks as though she was knocked off on the inside edge and meanwhile, again being recycled by the team Scotland. Meanwhile that is another power jam situation cut track had been picked up by not sorry Laurie she had just touched that inside line with the toe stops and continued on track and five points up in the air for team Aotearoa wow that certainly did seem very unopposed, but you know what? It's, it's situations like that where you get to see the other side of the game, and that's the blockers making holes for the jammers. Yeah, Team Otero seem to be deploying number 66, Terra Satana. That's a bit of a wrecking ball for the offence here. Oh, 
Oh, and great work there for Team Scotland to put up four points on the board just before the end of that whistle. Not sorry, Laurie. Comes straight out of the box and putting points on the board. Okay, so box is fully empty, so it will be a four-on-four four pack when we get going here. I believe it is Lansborough. 18-point jam. That was the highest scoring jam so far in that last jam. That was Lady Trample. It is all over there. Number 13, McPhierce. And it is McPhierce for Aotearoa with Lee Jammer. Lansborough now trying to work, holding the helmet cover in their hands. Well, Aotearoa not giving them any room at all, but no, I won't let her switch it over. Lansborough now trying, still trying to work. She's trying to pass that star, now trying to make an opening. McPhierce sliding through in all the confusion, putting another five points on the board. They are really not letting Landsberg get anywhere near her team, but it does look like the pass has been successful now. And Shorty is wearing the helmet cover of the star. Shorty now completes first scoring pass. I did see McPhierce look to the Aotearoa team bench coach just to see what the decision was going to be. And that decision was let this jam run. We, we've still got 45 seconds left in this jam, so if, that, if that's their plan to let it run, then we'll see how it goes. No, there's McPhierce calling it off. Well, they have now called it off with Shorty in the bin as the jammer for Scotland. Picked up a four-arms penalty just near the end of that jam there. So that is an interesting tactic, of course, because Shorty is not a natural jammer, also by freezing her in the bin, obviously she's going to have to do another jam here. Yep. Puts a bit of pressure on Scotland. Maybe they need to change the lineups here. Get a regular jammer maybe on as pivot to take a pass, perhaps. That's right. Certainly puts them on the back foot, and all their future plans are now out the window. So Ivy can Ivy number zero, getting the old Happy Gilmore run up there. You don't often see that these days. Although she's straight on through that back. You know, Shorty may not be uh, an original jammer, but she is quick on her skates. She is a fast, fast skater, nevertheless. Arturo did a good job of just splitting the Scotland pack here. Less blockers on the ball, less effective. So Ivy can Ivy, sometimes I, I look at her and, and she just does this sort of waterfall style movement where she just rolls off of the backs of each of the other uh, blockers and all of a sudden she's through. Wow! Great skating there by Shorty and straight back up on her feet as um, Evil can Evil unable to stop her. And very nice walk by Little, just forcing that call off there. And this game has certainly attracted a large crowd here. A few Scotland flags flying over there in the distance and a large contingent of Aotearoa fans here and I'm sure watching back at home in New Zealand. And I know there are some very big uh, Aotearoa fans over in Australia as well. Big shout out over there to both Australia and New Zealand watching from across the globe. And I'm not sure if you can hear it on the live feed, but Scotland also do have a drum over in that corner of the, <laughs> the arena. Peacock up, up on the jam again. Absolute powerhouse of a skater through the pack. It is 8-6 McKenzie for Team Aotearoa. She is fast on Peacock's heels. And... Aotearoa defence looking to reform in the front there. Scotland trying to pick off one of those blockers so Peacock can score. Peacock caught up in the middle of that sea of Aotearoans. I don't even know you can pluralise Aotearoa but it just did. Cut track. Not happy about that decision but going to the bin anyway. So this will be a full two minute jam then because Peacock was lead. So they will get back on track before this expires. And a full two minute jam in a half hour game is one fifteenth of the time. That's uh, Terra Satana being sent off as well. Five points picked up by McKenzie, that takes her to ten points so far, this jam. 
Off Phoenix. to Roo. Sorry, just going to say off to Roo again. Doing good work splitting these packs during the, the Purple Jams. Paycock back on track and putting points on the board. And they're going to get a chance to pick up some more. Mackenzie, meanwhile, also picking up the points for Team Aotearoa. She is scooting left and right up that street. Very different style in both these two jammers. However, both very effective against the opposition. So as we come up on the halftime of this match, we've got Team Scotland on 36 points versus Team Aotearoa on 81. Having said that, the score does not reflect the absolute battle that is going on out there on the track. That is being very, very fiercely contested out there. Looks like we have 7-6-4 Tids now for Team Scotland. And ballistic button there for Aotearoa. And I think an official review is being signalled. It certainly looks like it, and that's going through to Aotearoa using their one official review. A uh, great time to mention some of our great uh, sponsors for today. Rydell, Royal Derby World Cup is brought to you in part of the new Rydell Solaris. Or Solaris, the performance you demand, the comfort you've been missing. Not to mention Blood and Thunder. Uh, we would not be having a World Cup if it wasn't for Blood and Thunder. And their belief is life's better on roller skates. And as we just said over in the uh, match over there before, the only time that roller skates doesn't make everything better is when you're on the toilet. And that's really not the place for roller skates. It, but, um, it is not. We also do have Roller Derby Short Club. Get a different shot from a different Roller Derby League from around the world every month. Join the Roller Derby Shirt Club at rollerderbyshirtclub.com. That is rollerderbyshirtclub.com for more information on that. Well, I tell you what, it, we have a, a 38 countries competing in this World Cup and we got 47 announcers. And they were, they had, we had a little meeting last night and they were talking about how only last time, I think it was, there was 13 countries and 13 announcers. On the first World Cup, I'm just getting corrected, that's okay. First World Cup from 13 to th countries and 13 announcers to where we are today. It's a, such a global community that we've come together and all celebrating the sport of, of women's roller derby here today. So we do still have this official review ongoing. As we mentioned at the onset of this game, the period clock is still ticking while we have this. So not necessarily in Scotland's favour when they are a few, few points down at the moment. You don't want that clock running down. Uh, I think this is part of the first day's um, special rules. Normally they would uh, stop the clock with the um, official review, but today, um, as we're playing under an abridged set of rules on the half-hour games, the clock does not dwindle down. So thus far it really has just been the Pebble Jams that have been the difference when everyone is on track, it's been pretty much even. Do you know what I love about roller derby? Uh, roller derby, the, everyone at the end, the harder you hit somebody, the more happy they're going to be with you. you know, the harder you're going to hug them at yeah, the end of the game. <laughs> exactly, in any other sport, you know, they would come after you and and they'd go, oh, you know, I don't like that guy because, because he hit me really hard, now I'm really angry, or whatever it may be. Even, you know, male and female sports. But in, in uh, roller derby, the, the harder you hit, the, the more they love you, and the more that you can get up and try and, and, and raise your own game. It's all about peak excellence of sport. So official review was concluded. I don't see anyone going in the bin, so I'm not sure exactly what that was for. And it looks like Aotearoa has lost their official review, which probably means that they that the decision stood because they no longer have it up there on the board. Ted's now pushing out the front, strong front brought there from number three eight. That is evil can evil. Team Scotland. <laughs> She's happy about that. Tids gets through. Lead jammer. After a struggle. Ballistic button also through. 
You've seen there's quite a lot from Team Arturoa. They like the fast pack when Scotland get a lead jam up. Mm. Makes it harder work for the jammer to pick up some points. It's a very fast moving pack at the moment. Bit of a spin out there by Tids. Oh, a big hit by number 38. That was Evil Knievel again. Alto roll wall forming around Tids. It gets broken up. Tids is now through that pack again. But Ballistic Button already now picking up points also. She's now working at the back of that pack. Looks like Tins is opting to let this run some more. And she probably a good decision because she's coming around putting some more points on the board now. She's just trying to slice off around that outside, taking off there. I believe that is the team captain for Team Arturoa, Riley, with the take off there. Everyone's skating backwards, so they're doing a tactic here called bridging. So normally they wouldn't be able to skate back and separate up the pack. But when they bridge and they connect up the group like that, they can make them skate back a lot further. So we have just over 10 minutes remaining now. 89 playing 43 in favour of Team Aotearoa. It's going to be not sorry lorry now for Team Scotland. And it looks like uh, McPhee for uh, Team Aotearoa. Jam underway. Out there, right? Can she keep her skates in? Looks like she did. Almost pushed over the line there, McPhee's, but she held on on the inside line. But she is very firmly chased there by Not Sorry Laurie. That's why skaters work on their agility so much, especially jammers. It's a fine, fine line between a cut track and a successful, and successful sure jam. Is. Sure is. So two points were picked up there by Team Aotearoa, takes them to 91. Scotland still on 43 at the moment. But Lansborough is going to be hoping to change that. Number 72 of Dundee Roller Girls. Lansborough up against Lady Treble. Team Aotearoa do have one more blocker on track at the moment, opting to deploy that blocker as offence, and that has paid off because Lady Trample is the lead jammer. Certainly worked in their favour there, having that blocker superiority. Uh, Landsborough is still stuck at the pack there behind a great uh, Aotearoa wall and triangle of doom. Whoa! Jumping the apex, she stashed it, and it's straight back on top of her head, that uh, the helmet cover. Lady Trample signalling two her teammates to get to the front. Opting to call it off as that did not happen. And another six unanswered points there for Aotearoa. Ivy Canivy. Up against number 50, Peacock. This is going to be a great matchup. That should be a fine battle. Two very accomplished uh, jammers here. Oh, Ivy can Ivy being nudged out. Peacock takes the lead. Great defensive work there by Team Scotland in nudging Ivy can Ivy out. She's now made her way through the back for her first pass. Meanwhile, Peacock getting swarmed at the rear of that pack, but they are fighting their way through. Cut track being called. Oh, that's not... I thought that for a second that was Terra Satana being sent out on a cut track. I thought for a second that was Peacock. Although no one seemed very upset by the call, so that would have changed everything. Yeah, I think what happened there with Terra Satana is they just tried to side off rounds to provide more offence at the front, ah, and right. uh, they've just touched... Out the track, so she is off to the bin. 30 seconds. Oh, they're so clever with their, with how much they see and how much they pick up. Uh, here we are all the way over to the side and uh, and they keep eagle eyes on every little wheel. And that last jam was only the second scoreless jam we have had for Team Aotearoa. And that might continue as Tids is now lead jammer for Scotland. And uh, 
and she is nudged off there by Evil Knievel. He, Evil Knievel doing some great work in defence today for Aotearoa. Some big hits. But not enough to slow down the pace of number 764 Tibbs. Wow. With just six minutes left in this game, it is 52 to 97 on the scoreboard. Looks like it's going to be not sorry, Laurie up against number five four, which is Lady Trumbull. That's a jammer face off we've seen a few times today so far. Everyone right there in the mix. It is all going on in that first five meters of this track. Lady Trumbull trying to charge her way through and has done so. Looks like we've got ourselves a bit of a star pass going on and Shorty's now in control of the star again. Team Marty Roar with a bit of penalty trouble here. They've lost two blockers and now they have oh, wow. also lost Lady Trample to a four-arms penalty. So that means with only five minutes to go, this jam's going to go the full one minute and 20 seconds left. Shorty getting nudged out there by number 73, Kudatalia. Shorty coming out. Oh, cops a bit of a head to the face. That's not gonna <laughs> not gonna go well. Kudatalia being sent off to the bin. And we've got ourselves a cut track. She she hasn't noticed it yet, but it's little yellow jacket getting a cut track here. It happened quite a while ago. She's just going to take it for notice. She was too busy watching the rest of the track, but she's gone through. Meanwhile, Lady Trumple is back on track, and she is... Wow. Oh, wow. 180 twist here just to take that inside corner. Lady Trumple is incredibly versatile on a pair of skates. And not just versatile and dynamic, she... She's incredibly strong. She is taking a battering this jam though from these Scotland blockers. Team Martidor still with a lot of blocker penalty trouble. That's a completely <laughs> open inside line for Shorty. <laughs> Shorty punches the air. And I believe that is the biggest jam we have now had today for Team Scotland. Great work there by Team Scotland. 23 points to 8 for Team Aotearoa. So it's going to be 17-2 Lansborough. Just the two Team Aotearoa blockers on the track. Wisely opting to take the front so they don't get swarmed immediately by the offence. Although offence still most definitely came in from Seaton oh. and Lansborough. McPhierce has decided to turn herself into a blocker to try and help out. Wow, number eight just knocks out Lansborough. That's sugar hit. But not enough to stop her. She's got points on the board, five of them. We are seeing an amazing comeback here by Scotland. McPhierce still contained on the initial pass here. I believe they have now completed it though. Lansborough looking around on the clock. Calling it off, and I think they're going. I think she got another three points. Looking to try and space out perhaps another two jams in the last two minutes. Who knows? We have just two minutes and two seconds left in this game. It is going to be Peacock. Peacock versus number 86, McKenzie. Both Matchup jammers. that has been going down a fair few times today. Both jammers should try to use brute strength now to try and make an opening for themselves. Oh, 
Peacock kicks the ground, gets straight back up, mind you. Ah, oh, forearms. Oh. And I believe an insubordination penalty has also been added to the forearms for Peacock. So, going to be a one minute power jam here for Mackenzie of Team Aotearoa. And she is now back on track, picking up those points. Good recycling, though, by Team Scotland. Extending that distance, that is Liston. Well, that is certainly a large blow to the Scotland team in what might be the last jam. Oh, Mackenzie managing to stay incredibly well on the one skate. Big strong defence by Scotland, just nudging Mackenzie out and making her skate all the way back. Just, just 30 seconds left. Yeah, just taking a look at that period clock there, not long left at all. This has been a very good power jam containment by Team Scotland though. And Mackenzie looking to put a few extra points on as the period clock ends just before the jam clock will. Well, what a game. For a second there, Scotland almost came back in. We really nearly had a thrilling finale. A massive finish there by Aotearoa and just edging out by a 41-point victory over Scotland. I believe it was both of them their first games into this foray and, and uh, only the half hour games today. So I'm sure we'll see some great things from both these two teams as we hedge on into the rest of the competition. And I do just want to say to you, Chief, it was also my first game today, so apologies for stepping over you about 19 nah. times during that, but it's a, we'll it's get in the swing of things as we keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way of the announcer. It's all right. You've got to keep on rolling, and uh, that's just the way it is, I guess. Um, I've been Chief Intent. It's been lovely here commentating and bringing some World Cup to the rest of the world. And I am Archie, and I hope you enjoy the rest of today and the rest of the full World Cup. That's exactly right. Have a good one.